Hi dear friends and subscribers, uh, welcome to the cricket happenings today and what a day we had today in the Indian Premier League. Two exciting matches happening. Uh, one was is the 41st match between, 40th match, the first match between Rajasthan Royals uh, and Royal Challengers Bangalore uh, where uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore continued uh, their very very uh, poor way of actually losing uh, in matches other than Bangalore when they lost to Rajasthan Royals today. Uh, and what a last over we had. In the last over there was pretty, pretty much excitement. And finally the penultimate ball uh, we had um, uh, Stuart uh, Binney actually stroking a four to warm the nerves of the Rajasthan Royals. As two wickets fell in the last over with only six runs required. I will take you to the excitement uh, during this, uh, on the, the, during this uh, journey uh, on Cricket Happening Show today. And then we look at the 41st match. It was much more excitement than even the previous match as Pravin Kumar um, in the last over was looking like actually um, taking Kings and Punjab to victory but uh, finally uh, they finished a four run shot. We'll talk about that. That went up to the last ball when Pravin Kumar was out and what a relief uh, for the Mumbai Indians and also for the Mumbai crowd at the Wankadev Stadium who had assembled in large numbers and they'd have been pretty disappointed if Mumbai Indians would have lost that match. So that was another match which went down to the wires. So this Indian Premier League 2013 has been full of exciting matches and what an Indian Premier League 2013 we are having. Well, and then I will also talk about, I will in fact start off with this, Zimbabwe uh, were the ones uh, who actually lost the match yesterday. The writing was definitely on the wall but it was only a matter of when. Uh, but yes, Zimbabwe did, uh, did, did resist uh, with Hamilton Masakadza on the top contributing 111 in fact uh, he remaining he was remaining not out he didn't get uh, much support from the other batsmen uh, but and uh, Bangladesh actually uh, squaring the series 1-1 uh, with a 143 run victory at the Harare Sports Club uh, we will I'll talk about that but just beginning this cricket happening show I would like to talk about the Pakistan team uh, that has been selected for the Champions Trophy as you know they have selected 29 probables so they have trimmed it down to 15 now which they have to submit it for the Champions Trophy uh, a, a Champions Trophy uh, in England in June and well the surprises are that Shahid Afridi and Umar Akmal has been left out of the squad now Shahid Afridi if one remembers against South Africa uh, he really really showed glimpses of the old Shahid Afridi style of batting so I was a bit wondering like, um, I mean, why would Shahid Afridi be dropped? Uh, and especially, uh, we can keep him out of test matches, but not about, about one day or, or 20, 20 matches. Because especially considering the fact that uh, Shahid Afridi scored 88 valuable runs against in a one-day international, even though it was on a losing cause, he really went berserk. So, but, uh, well, well, the Pakistani uh, think tank know what they are doing best. So, the Pakistani um, cricket selectors decided to drop Shahid Afridi from the team. And Umar Akmal also came as a surprise because he has not been consistent but uh, well we all know what a good stroke maker he is but he has also been left out of the squad. Well uh, if I have time I will, I will try to uh, talk about the team but unfortunately today I don't think I will be having time because I have three matches to cover. So first I am going to shortly start off in the Zimbabwe Bangladesh is going to be covered in brief uh, because there are two exciting matches which happened in the Indian Premier League 2013 which I would like to talk about. As I said Zimbabwe. Uh, they just before T, Bangladesh wrapped up everything. Uh, the only good thing for Zimbabwe was Hamilton Masakadza uh, getting his test century. He was not out on 111 uh, with 11 fours and four sixes. In fact, uh, he was not. He, was, he didn't get much support. The, the only support he got was from Shingirai Masakadza, his brother who made 24 uh, three fours. Elton Chigumbra, well guilty, I would say, under the circumstances that one would have expected an experienced Chigumbra to give some support to Hamilton Masakadza by blocking some balls. On the other hand, uh, I thought it was not a good stroke from Chigumbra at all because he went down the wicket to Swahag Gazi, lofted him and paid the penalty. Robiul Islam caught him. He was gone for two. Uh, Mutumbami, the wicketkeeper, briefly survived. In fact, uh, he was doing the thing. In fact, Chigumbra had to do what Mutumbami was doing because Mutumbami was just blocking the balls and trying to stay at the crease, occupation of the crease because Hamilton Masakadza was there at the other end. Because the only thing that they needed was they needed someone to stand with Hamilton Masakadza which was not to be. So Mutumbami was uh, gone for 12 and after that uh, it was all over. Kramer and Meth also departed pretty early. And then Kyle Jarvis uh, was the one left um, uh, with uh, Masakadza and Masakadza had to reach a century. And Masakadza uh, realized that there is only one wicket left 
uh, he went in and um, went to his century in great style uh, by banging a six. In fact, he also hit uh, three more. He hit the Ziaul Rahman onto the roof of the stadium, and he hit in all four sixes and eleven fours, unbeaten 111. Kyle Jarvis was LBW Shakil Hassan, Shakib Al Hassan, and that was it for uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe losing the match by 143 runs. Uh, Robiul Islam was named man of the series. Uh, what a what a series for Robiul Islam. Robiul Islam is that he has been a workhorse. He bowled 99 overs uh, in a two-match series here, and I'm told that is the he has equaled the uh, record uh, for the most number of overs bowled by a bowler uh, in a two-test series for Bangladesh, uh, which was good because uh, the other the person who did that was a spinner. So Robiul Islam, being a pacer, uh, sharing the uh, sharing the uh, sharing a lion's workload, I would say he has really been a workhorse, no doubt about that, and he truly deserved for two consecutive five wicket hauls he got the man of the series, and he truly deserves it. I'm sure Rabi Al Islam is destined for greater things. It's only a matter because he has the pace uh, and he has been looking absolutely sharp. Uh, but today uh, the wicket takers were Ziaul Rahman, and okay, the man of the match was uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, the captain of the Bangladesh team. And uh, the wicket takers, well, we had Ziha Rahman who came into this uh, um, uh, team as a batting all rounder. But, well, if the ball, he has been good. We know he's, he bowls military medium pace. But, well, he did it. it he had 23 overs, 8 minutes, 63 runs, and 4 wickets. And sharing it with him was uh, Shaki Balasan, 11.3 overs, no made, and 52 runs, and 3 wickets. And as I said, Zimbabwe are losing the match, and thus this, the series being shared by both the teams 1 1. Well, so I'm just going to stop, uh, stop here and I'm going to take you to the 40th match between Rajasthan Royals and Royal Challengers Bangalore. Uh, this was the first match and uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore were put into bat by Rajasthan Royals. And well, Royal Challengers Bangalore, uh, they had a very good start. Uh, Chris Gale once again entertaining the crowd uh, by putting, uh, having 34 to his name. In fact, uh, in the fourth over, uh, the Rajasthan Royal, no, sorry, the uh, RCB were 44 for no loss, but uh, they lost the wicket in the last ball uh, of that fourth over when Chris Gale was gone. Uh, he was a victim of Watson and he was gone for 34, but he just smashed the balling. Uh, he went after the baller, even though Rahul Dravid um, uh, took the challenge of uh, tossing the ball to Ashok Chandila. The Rider Austin has always been giving him the breakthrough. So he came in and bowled to Gale, and Gale uh, smacked him for boundaries. Uh, Sri Santos it for a beautiful flat six by Gale, and finally what a relief uh, for the for the Rajasthan Royals to see the back of Chris Gale when he was caught by Samson, uh, the wicketkeeper of the bowling of Watson for 34 of 16 balls, six fours and one six. Other than that, I would say the Rajasthan Royals bowlers definitely struck. Once Gale was gone, uh, it was a matter of Rajasthan Royals bowlers uh, really, really uh, pressing on, uh, pressing on home the advantage. Uh, by really, really balling some very good length balls and balling pretty well, and that uh, that resulted in uh, Rajasthan Royals uh, only only a brief flurry. In fact, as far as the contributions are concerned, Abhinav Mukund uh, playing his first game today, he was out for 19 of 21 balls with one four. Uh, Kohli uh, was not looking uh, pretty confident today, but his contribution was only 32 of 35 balls with three fours. A.B. De Villiers was out for uh, 21 of 13 balls with three fours and 22 Moises Andrique is uh, hit, hitting some uh, big shots uh, to be run out for 22 of 19 balls with two fours and one six and finally uh, when the score was reading 149 for six when Rampal departed it looked as though Royal Challengers Bangalore are not going to end up uh, probably are going to end up with some 150 uh, 150 150 odd runs but uh, when Vinay Kumar came in and changed the complexion totally in the last over James Faulkner was the baller. James Faulkner in the last over of the innings, uh, the Royal Challengers Bangalore uh, got 22 runs of the last over. Vinay Kumar himself smacking 22 runs of the last over of James Faulkner, which included three sixes. Uh, two, two sixes were hit off slower balls uh, over the um, uh, long on long on fence, uh, and then one more length ball was deposited into the stands by Vinay Kumar. Three sixes and a four. Um, uh, he, he took uh, and Saurabh Tiwari was there at the other end but uh, Vinay Kumar thanks to Vinay Kumar who smacked those 22 runs uh, Royal Challengers Bangalore uh, score was looking a bit challenging at 171 for 6 as far as the bowling figures are concerned uh, 4 overs no maiden and none for 30 none for Chandila Faulkner was his birthday uh, he had done all the good job uh, as far as his fielding was concerned 
he was there in the he, he ran out uh, Moises Enriquez he took two good catches in the deep but in the last over uh, he got his uh, figures totally um, uh, you know uh, rearranged by uh, the batsman Vinay Kumar who went after him like anything and hit him for 22 runs and Faulkner returned figures of four overs no maiden none for 42 Sri Sun four overs one maiden one for 35 bowled excellently I thought he was really on the money he was keeping the ball up to the batsman and Shane Watson uh, on his bowling was pretty impressive with uh, taking three uh, vital wickets that of Chris Gale uh, he had Virat, Virat Kohli and then he took Ravi Ram Paul 3 for 22 for him uh, uh, Siddharth Trivedi 3 overs no made and 1 for 20 for him Vinny none for 8 of uh, 1 over so 171 was the target that was kept for Rajasthan Royals and um, looking at the target uh, one would have expected that uh, Rajasthan Royals uh, would be in a position to do that well they were uh, they, uh, first let me just talk about the um, uh, Rajasthan Royals bowlers they did a splendid job uh, to restrict uh, I mean to have Rajasthan uh, RCB at 171 and Rajasthan Royals in reply well they had a real hero there uh, in fact uh, Rahul Dravid started off in quick fashion uh, by making 22 of 17 balls with 4-4 but the, but the hero was the man of the match and at a very young age of 18 he already showed glimpses his name Sanju Samson the wicketkeeper batsman from Rajasthan Royals came in and he welcomed uh, Murli Karthik into the attack with two sixes over extra cover and after that he never looked back he played some beautiful offside strokes and um, well he he was the highest scorer with 63 of just 41 deliveries seven fours and two sixes Ajinkya Rahane left early for two and contributions coming in from Shane Watson uh, 41 with three fours and one six and things were going uh, pretty well they had everything in uh, everything in place and that was the time when Watson departed the score was 162 for 4 and now I'm taking you down to the excitement as to what happened everything looked like Rajasthan Royals are easily going to win this match and, and um, it was the 20th over uh, Rajasthan Royals 166 for 4 Vinay Kumar was the baller and what uh, just uh, just look at the drama that happened at uh, six overs, uh, six runs required of the last six balls and there was real drama here uh, at the uh, Jaipur ground as Vinay Kumar was the baller and Vinay Kumar as you know he bowls the death overs very well and well what he did is the first uh, the, the first ball only a single was taken so the second ball uh, Vinay Kumar bowled to Hodge and what a beautiful delivery from uh, Vinay Kumar uh, Vinay Kumar castled uh, Hodge Hodge was absolutely clean bowled and uh, he was sent to the pavilion uh, for 32 Hodge had done all the hard work he had done played a good innings of 32 of 18 balls with 1-4 and 2-6 so he departed the pavilion so that put the pressure Ovai Shah came in and the very next ball there was one more wicket as uh, Ovai Shah was run out and that made the equation uh, uh, 3 of 4 of 3 balls Vinay Kumar bowled to Faulkner Faulkner took a run and the Stuart Binney came on to strike so then they required um, they required 3 of 2 balls and um, Stuart Binney of the very first ball it was a slower one uh, luckily for him he, play, he, he played it past mid wicket and finally Rajasthan Royals won but as I said the match really went into the excitement mode as those two wickets fell of Ovai Shah and Brad Hodge they were the uh, uh, mainstream, uh, mainstream players and so that would have put some real pressure but fortunately enough Rajasthan Royals went over the line and won the match so now let's look at the most exciting match that happened uh, between Mumbai Indians and Kings XI Punjab. Mumbai Indians, Kings XI Punjab. Mumbai Indians, well, they made 174 for three of their 20 overs. The feature being the captain of Rohit Sharma, uh, smashing 79 of just 39 deliveries. Six fours and six sixes. He's in some awesome form. He hit uh, two sixes into the top, into the second tier of the stadium, and he was looking in magnificent touch, I would say. Um, and then the contributions, Dwayne Smith uh, contributing 33 of 32 balls with 3 folds and 1 single top of the order. Sachin Tendulkar failed, it was out for 9. Uh, and then um, Pollard uh, played an uncharacteristic knock of uh, 20 of just 21 balls, 1 4 and 1 6. In fact, if you look at it, 5 overs, probably 70 to 80 runs were taken. Of that, the lion's share was Rohit Sharma, unbeaten as a captain on 79 of just 39 deliveries. Six fours and six sixes. What a knock from Rohit Sharma. He was the man of the match for sure. Uh, and uh, Karthik uh, contributing 25. Well, uh, I don't have time to get on to the balling figures because I want to take you down to the excitement. So 174 for three on the board. Um, in fact, um, Kingsland Punjab were doing well to have Mumbai Indians on the list. But Mumbai Indians, as you know, 
in the past in this Indian Premier League, what they have done is the last five overs, they really uh, go for the runs. They have uh, they're collected runs at, uh, at an average of more than 10 runs an over, and that's what they precisely did. Well, as far as Kings and Punjab were concerned, they, they didn't have a good start. Uh, Mandeep Singh and uh, Mandeep Singh, in, in fact, today uh, Adam Gilchrist uh, was not there. David Hussey was the captain, and Adam Gilchrist uh, sat out of the match, and the openers were dismissed pretty early. Mandeep Singh uh, and um, uh, Mandeep Singh was dismissed for nine. Sean Marsh opened the innings for the first time. Sean Marsh playing in place of Adam Gilchrist uh, was uh, early victim for ten of the bowling of Oja. Manan Vora was uh, gone to Johnson for one, and that made the score 55 for three. Soon became uh, soon uh, after that it became soon became 76 for four when David Hussey, after making a very good 34 of 18 balls with five fours and one six departed, uh, and then uh, David Miller. David Miller was there, but David Miller when David Miller came, uh, David Miller himself had to take the onus of scoring after uh, he had a good partnership with Hussey. But after that, uh, Harbhajan Singh came in and uh, turned in a very economical spell and he really, really, you know, cut into this uh, Kings and Punjab innings by taking three wickets. First, he dismissed Gurkirat Singh for two. Then he had Azhar Mahmood for nine and Manpreet Goni was gone for a duck. So that made the score 111 for seven. So Kings and Punjab were absolutely in trouble at that time. I mean, they, I mean, definitely it looked like Mumbai Indians were going to win. And then Piyush Chavla showed some um, some real guts there. Um, even though David Miller was the other end who was uh, smacking some uh, big sixes and playing his part, Piyush Chavla also hit a beautiful six of the balling of Lasit Malinga in a score of 12 of 10 balls with 1-4. When he departed, the score was 132 for eight. And um, and, and this was the 18th over and the 18th over when David Miller departed because he was the uh, main player who could do it because he has the ability to clear the fence but when David Miller departed to Johnson for 56 of 34 balls with 1-4 and 5 sixes, uh, Mumbai Indians would have felt uh, that well uh, the match is already over now uh, there's nothing could be done but Pravin Kumar came in and played what a knock he would have definitely taken Kings alone Punjab to victory because what he did is in the 19th over and 26 runs were required. He got nine of the over, including a beautiful six of the bowling of Lasit Malinga. He just went and lofted him over long off, and Malinga was absolutely stunned uh, by that stroke from Pravin Kumar. And in the last over, there was heavy drama. There were 17 runs required. Dawal Kulkarni was the bowler. Dawal Kulkarni was bowling lots of full tosses, but uh, look at what did he bowled a wide, he bowled a no ball, uh, and just uh, talking about that particular over. The first ball that was bowled to Pravin Kumar with 17 runs required, uh, Pravin Kumar took two runs. The second delivery, the extra delivery has to be bowled because it was a no ball. That was a full toss and uh, there was no run taken. Pravin Kumar realized that he had to take the responsibility. So he told uh, Parveen Avana not to run and he stayed over there. And the third delivery, uh, the second delivery, in fact the second legal delivery, uh, there was no run because it was slower ball. And the third delivery, uh, that, that was a wide, which was declared a wide. So 13 runs uh, were, uh, they required another 13 runs to get of the last four balls. Uh, um, uh, what Dawal Kulkarni did is once again, uh, Dawal Kulkarni bowled and Pravin Kumar uh, played a ball down to the deep and he started heading in for the second run and they had to do that and uh, Pravin Kumar came to the other end. The fourth delivery, uh, well, that was the pitch of controversy uh, where King Salon Punjab has really raised it to the authorities to ask them why this happened uh, because uh, it looked like a definite uh, sort of a ball which was waist high. Pravin Kumar was not happy uh, when the umpire did not give it a wide. He actually had a word with Asad Rauf, but nothing could happen. And then look at what happened. Uh, they were requiring 11 runs to win the match and Pravin Kumar really made the Mumbai crowd absolutely silent by putting a, a ball on his pads and uh, the ball was on, on his uh, toes, actually off the toes, he actually flicked it for a beautiful six and that really silenced the Mumbai crowd and suddenly there was excitement whether we are going to have a super over because if Pravin Kumar uh, hits a boundary, it would be a super over and if they get five runs, uh, if they get six runs, if Pravin Kumar could hit a six, the match would be, uh, k uh, would be Kings Lone Punjabs. But what happened was that Kulkarni bowled to Kumar and this time Pravin Kumar played the stroke but uh, on the other hand, what he did is he played, a ca uh, played the ball in the air, then Dulkar at point, took the catch, it was all over. But what an excitement, uh, everything going down to the wire and uh, creating uh, ripples of excitement here at the Mumbai, in the Mumbai at the Wankhede Stadium. And finally, the match was over with Pravin Kumar off the last ball being out 
Otherwise, just look at Pravin Kumar. He contributed 24 of 15 balls with 1-4 and 2 sixes. Really, really frightening uh, this Mumbai team. And uh, Harbhajan Singh was pretty economical. 4 overs no made and 3 for 14 for him. And uh, wickets were shared by 2 for 29 for Johnson, 1 for 39 Malinga. Dawal Gulkarni, 2 for 44 was costly. And 2 wickets for Pragyan Oja. Well, dear fans, friends and subscribers, I don't have much. I think I've gone for 20 minutes on this YouTube broadcast. I hope this uh, YouTube broadcast uh, comes to you properly. Uh, that's it from me, your host Ram, for the cricket show today. See you all tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.